in the end, George did it. George did stake him, stake Mitchell, and it's, I think it was the right thing to do. He does it out of love, and I think that's what he says. I think that's actually what he says. You know I'm, I'm doing this because I love you, and Mitchell says he knows, and that's after he stakes him, and it's a lovely moment, and a very emotional moment for, for me and Russell on set. I'm looking at Russell knowing that this is the, the last line of dialogue that he'll ever deliver to me, and he's crying when he's saying it, and it's all lovely, and um, and it was great. So, And it was the right thing. It's brave, and it's something being human has always been. Is, is, um, and it's bloody hard, but but being brave and original is, is what this show has always sort of um, been, even though it's the most obvious thing in the world, maybe. I mean, from the first episode, Mitchell's told that he has his premonition, he's going to be killed by a werewolf. Everyone's going to presume it's George. And it turns out they're right, and it turns out it's still the most surprising finale or the, to, 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 the, to the series. What's the atmosphere like today? It's quite intense because what we're shooting is very intense. There's a very kind of focused and busy vibe on set just now, and I'm sure there's going to be a few tears. Everyone's very emotional anyway because we spent the last five months together, um, and it's saying goodbye and saying goodbye to Aidan, but we'd just like to wish him as much luck and good luck as possible, really. We've been allowed on set for just a really short amount of time. We've got one rehearsal, the crew rehearsal. This is where everyone in the crew gets to see the final scene as it's going to happen. The scene we've just shot is where George, Annie and Nina have to actually make a decision about you know what they're going to do. You know, we shot that kind of handheld just so it has a little bit of an edge to it. We tried to visually isolate Mitchell from, from the three of them. They're in the kitchen and you can see him through the window and the doors. Visually, that's what, what you want to do in, in terms of sort of supporting the story that's going on. So guys, uh, we're showing the last scene of Being Human 3. I can see the faces, just the people I've killed, the people I'm going to kill. I'm so scared. I want to tell You were the love of my long life. And you were the love of my life. It's surreal, it's quite strange, because everything you do, you know it's the last time you're doing it. And you, you, your brain won't stop reminding you about that, you know? Like, when I put on my shoes, you kind of go, that's the last time I'm putting them on, or this is the last lunch I'm going to have on the set, or this is the, everything was the last time. So in a weird way, it kind of stops you embellishing the mo embracing the moment more. It's like the end of an era, really, and Aidan was really upset. It was a long two days, and we're all very tired, and having to cry over and over and over and over again was hard. But it was important that we kind of really got it right, because it's one of the scenes I look back on, and, and I always think of that being the last day and the last scenes, and I want to make sure I kind of did it justice, and we all kind of felt that. He's come to the end now, and we picked up the story with Mitchell. He'd gone through decades and decades of this kind of torture. There's nowhere Mitchell can go from that point. I want George to kill me. You know, Russell was quite concerned about that, you know? He was thinking that, he, he was thinking that people might hate him for it, and it's just the most ridiculous thought in the world. I was worried when I first read it that people are going to hate George. People might hate George. I think they'll be surprised, but I think they'll understand that it's the only way it could have been, because it is. It's the only way it could have been.